Light rain forecasted. Light rain is expected to start in six minutes. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, dude, we gotta wrap this up. All right, guys, what's up? So today I am installing Apple CarPlay in my 2017 M3, and I'm doing it without paying BMW $300. So if you have an F-Series BMW and you want CarPlay, and you don't mind doing a little bit of coding, then this video is for you. But I should mention that this only covers cars that are already pre-configured for CarPlay. If you need like the Wi-Fi adapter or an upgraded head unit or any of that stuff, um, won't be getting into that today. Uh, but along with everything else that I'm using in this video, I will link a, web a website in the description that you can go and do a VIN check and it will tell you whether or not your car is pre-configured for CarPlay. So, okay, real quick backstory. And if you're not into this kind of thing, I get it, we're talking. Uh, Timestamps as always, you can just bounce ahead. So in 2017, BMW starts rolling out CarPlay into their cars. This would have been one of the one of the first cars to get it. The problem is, is that unlike other manufacturers who were giving it away for free, they were charging customers $80 a year after the first free year to keep it enabled, which is bullshit because again, everybody else was getting it for free. So BMW customers, rightly so, threw a fit, sent BMW a ton of negative backlash, and rightly so, BMW caved and then changed it to be a free thing that they just included. However, it only applied to 2019 and newer model year cars. If you had a 2018 and earlier, you still had to pay the one-time $300 activation fee, which again, that's bullshit, it should be free. I've wanted CarPlay pretty much since I got my car in 2020, and now so more than ever, specifically for Waze, because I go on a lot of road trips and take a lot of, you know, trips to faraway car shows now that my son is off of college, going to see him or bringing home for the holidays. So it would be convenient to have Waze on iDrive instead of on my phone. I hate trying to manage Waze on my phone because the UI doesn't rotate. So if you have your phone charging and the cup holder it has to rest on the cable, you can't flip it upside down. And unless you have like a tacky air vent phone holder, it's just, it's kind of a hassle, right? So really want to get CarPlay installed, but I don't want to pay the $300 to BMW. Not because I'm cheap, just to find. So I spent some time looking around and didn't take long to find that there were a couple of services out there where you could buy an activation code. It seemed like a gray market kind of thing for a fraction of the cost of what BMW was charging. So like 50 to $60 and you could get that activation code along with the software to install it. So to do this install, you need a couple of things. You need a Windows laptop, which fortunately the stars just aligned that I had one because I, this is a Mac only household. I'm not an operating system elitist, but I don't like to use Windows any more than I have to. Um, but it just so happens that I have this old work laptop that still runs. And you also need an OBD2 to ethernet cable. If your laptop also does not have an ethernet port, you need an adapter. I have an ethernet to USB-C or USB or you know, whatever. So you get this stuff, get your activation code, and we're good to go. Now, the inner hacker in me still says, I know that you can do this for free. And sure enough, you can. There's BMW tools out there, eSys, Tool32, but you kind of have to go a little bit down the rabbit hole of BMW coding. So this to me seems like the path of mild resistance. So you're not paying $300 to BMW to just magically get it unlocked, but you still have to do a little bit of work in order to get it on there, but you don't have to go through all of the more advanced tools and stuff. However, because I wanna do this for free, just unfortunately happen to have another F80 where I think I'm gonna spend a little bit of time playing with the BMW tools. We'll see if we can do this for free. But in today's video, we're gonna do the option where it's just, you pay your 55 bucks, Get, get a laptop, get a cable, and we can get it on here pretty easily. So with that, let's go ahead and get this installed before it starts raining. Now, before we get started, I wanted to note that in order to get the right setup for your CarPlay, you're gonna be asked what version navigation software you have. So to find that out, hop into iDrive, go to navigation, at the bottom, you got settings, at the bottom, position and software version, software version, and then this value here, is what you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. So NB, TiVo, underscore, and then that first letter. So depending on what letter you have will depend on how you are able to install this. Uh, you can either sometimes get a file just directly on a USB stick that you can plug in and have it auto run that way. Um, but in my case, because I have the X version, uh, this is where you need the installer with the laptop set up to the OBD2 port and so on. Okay, so now that we know our version number and we've gotten our activation code, our OBD2 port is plugged in, and we have our installer that we got from the website. Now, there's a couple of things, that, a couple of instructions that they'll give you. You wanna make sure that your firewall is off, your antivirus software is disabled, and you have an internet connection, this thing phones home in order to do its validation. So run this file, 
found vehicle. Awesome. And you hit identify, and here is where you put in the activation code that you got. So connecting to remote cloud service. Again, if you've ever done any kind of Beamer code stuff, this is really no different. This is ready to start. So then hit start. And you'll see your iDrive will go off. Also make sure that your seatbelt is plugged in so the car doesn't turn itself off in the middle of this. Ooh, flashing time. So this should take about three to four minutes total runtime. Coding full screen car play. That's right. Video in motion. Just means that you can play video while the car is in drive. Normally that is locked down to prevent you from being able to do so as a safety feature, but this will make it so that you can play video. All right, so this turned off. It's rebooting. There's your M screen. Sexy M animation, love it. That, I think I actually did change that with Beamer code. Final step, recoding process complete. Start navigation. The iDrive system will be turned off shortly to turn it back on again. Please press the radio on off switch. All right. So now let's go in. Okay, so with the device removed from your car and the Bluetooth connection removed from your phone, I'm gonna hit manage mobile devices, connect new device, Apple CarPlay, connect Apple CarPlay and confirm. So now you should see the new Bluetooth connection appear on your phone, tap that to connect. Once you do, you should get a pairing code. So hit pair on your phone then hit OK on your car. Then you can optionally sync your contacts if you want. I'm gonna to choose to. So then it'll go through the checking pass key section. You should get the use CarPlay pop-up on your phone that uses the Wi-Fi connection. So hit OK to that. And this will take a second. Boom, CarPlay, check that out. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, finally. Scroll through some apps here. I'll do Vero. There, there's a there's an app I haven't used in a hot minute. Go over. Got Spotify. That's awesome. A little melancholy. Not gonna play any of it though. I don't want to get a copyright strike. But in any case, here we go. CarPlay. All right, guys. Well, there you go. So relatively easy way to install CarPlay for a fraction of the cost, which to me, I think that's found money. So the $245 that I didn't spend on CarPlay, uh, I, that, that might as well not be saved money, but found money. So I think we're gonna go take that and put it into something else fun. Definitely doing downpipes soon. So anyway, guys, hope you found this video helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because lots more F80 content coming soon, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.